I'm Micah. And I'm Wyatt. We're part of Pink New Robotics. This is our remote control locker for the special needs kids. I was in charge of fabrication. Uh, during the project, I was in charge of wiring and PLC programming. The uh, locker, after you press the fob, it um, uses a solenoid to unlock the locker. The motor then swings all the way up until it hits the outer limit. When you hit the fob again, the locker starts to close until it hits the inner limit switch. Our first design for the locker used relays instead of a PLC, much like, much like this Jeopardy game. Relays are inconvenient because whenever you want to change the way the locker works, you have to reconfigure the relays and change the wiring. Our new version uses a Direct Logic 105 PLC. It's much more compact and user friendly. It's also more versatile and easier to use when you need to rewire and change the program. Our first design included only a solenoid spring loaded popper. Due to the special needs student, we also needed to incorporate a motor and limit switches in order for the locker to operate by itself. I would fail. This is what. Okay, rub your hand over it. Let me get the switch. Okay, good. Go ahead, trip it. Your hand back up. Hey, boy. That's it closed. That's open. It's open. It's up full open. Cool. Nice job, Nick. Okay, I'm going to go mine right here done. We want to make sure you can do it by yourself, Nick. Don't be lazy. Hand over there now. Winning the Society of American Military Engineers grant has provided us, provided us the ability to duplicate our locker. The special needs area at Pinckney School District has already asked us to incorporate more lockers throughout the school district. 